from the East Tennessee Weather Center, here's your afternoon weather update with meteorologist Mike Witcher. And I sure hope you're having a great day today. We sure hope you're enjoying the sunshine after some morning dense fog. Plenty of sunshine here this afternoon. But we are going to get a return flow coming in out of the south as the ridge of high pressure shifts off to our south and east. We'll explain details on that coming up here in just a moment. But I do want to talk about uh, the drought situation or rather the improving drought situation that's been ongoing around East Tennessee. Remember last week we had the extreme droughts as drifting its way into the Southern Valley. The drought was getting really bad and we desperately needed the moisture and the rain showers. Man, well, we, we asked for too much, didn't we? Serious situation that's still ongoing across Upper East Tennessee, those poor folks up there. But watch how this changes based on all the rain that we saw just last week. Really big improvements for the drought but still hanging on to a moderate and a little pocket of a severe drought over right around uh, parts of uh, Roan County, Southern Morgan, and also the eastern sections of Cumberland County with abnormally dry conditions uh, and a moderate drought for the rest of the area. So we're still hanging on to the drought. This will likely expand here over the next couple of weeks due to the fact that we're just not looking at a lot of rain, but at least we've seen some improvements. All right, so here are your weather headlines after the morning dense fog, plenty of sunshine, a cold front tomorrow. As we get into the weekend, no big deal, but another cold front brings us perfect fall weather as we head into next week. Here's your future cast for the rest of the afternoon. You can see that return flow coming in out of the south. Uh, I'll show you the big picture uh, story of why that's taking place, but we're just going to see a few fair weather cumulus clouds. Uh, not necessarily cumulus, but a deck of some mid-level clouds kind of streaming their way in from south to north. So a little bit more cloud coverage across the mountain counties than the central and northern valley. But either way you look at it, temperatures will top out in the 80s, which is trending above average. Now, dew points are still expected to stay in the 60s. That's keeping our morning lows nice and mild. And that's going to make those 80s this afternoon feel a little bit on the warmer side. And then as we head into the evening, it's going to feel great. We'll have plenty of sunshine, a few clouds, 79 degrees by 7 o'clock here this evening. This is that ridge of high pressure. So our steering winds in the atmosphere come from the mid-levels. And that's exactly what you're looking at. Mid-level ridge of high pressure shifting off to the southeast. So that puts us on the western side and that southerly flow coming in out of the south into the Tennessee Valley. Now, as we get into our Friday morning, we do have some energy to our south and southwest, a trough to our north. Okay, so this energy is going to start to ride up on the western side of this ridge of high pressure. The trough to the north will push a cold front through. So here's a little bit of rain as we get into our Friday morning associated with that energy sliding from southwest to northeast. Here comes a frontal boundary. Could see a couple of afternoon showers and maybe a few rumbles of thunder. We do have some instability in the atmosphere, but that's about the extent of it. Cold front comes through. Yeah, we'll see the dew points drop just a little bit over the weekend, but we're not talking about cooler temperatures as of right now. Saturday is going to be fantastic. If you have any outdoor plans, I'm going to be uh, broadcasting live at noon on Saturday at Carson Newman before the football game with my friends from Farm Bureau Insurance. You should come out and check it out if you're going to be in and around the Jefferson City area. Uh, other than that, uh, dew points will drop a little bit as we get into the upcoming weekend, but that's not the major story. Watch this. Let me know if you can pick out the cold front as we get into our Sunday. And Monday, there is a cold front on the way, and that's going to usher in some much drier air as we get into our Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. So yes, we are going to be drying out just a little bit more as we get into next week, and that is going to bring our low temperatures down. Because remember, the dew point can never fall, or the temperature can never fall below the dew point. So the drier the air is, the cooler our morning lows are. So we're talking low temperatures in the 40s and 50s after this weekend, we'll have morning low temperatures in the 50s and 60s. Dew points will stay on the elevated side all the way through Sunday. Cold front comes through, dropping our dew points as we get into next week, as we just showed you, but that's what it looks like. And not a lot of rainfall expected over the next three, five, and seven days. And this actually may last just a little bit longer. So we're keeping it relatively dry. Maybe a couple of pop-up showers on Friday and again on Sunday as that next cold front swings its way through, but just not a lot of rainfall. Temperature trend, average high for this time of year is 77. Again, we're going to be in the 80s, dropping into the 70s as we get into next week. And that pocket of some cooler air may stick with us over the next 6 to 10 and maybe even 8 to 14 days out. So as I mentioned, some solid weather or rather some solid fall weather is on the way. And if you have plans to head to the Gulf of Mexico for your fall break, good news just a cluster of thunderstorms. Doesn't look like it's going to turn out to be much at all. So here's your seven-day forecast across all of East Tennessee from Knoxville to Chattanooga, Crossville to Tri-Cities. Again, you can always get the latest information online at easttnweather.com 
or by downloading the East Tennessee weather app. It's your one-stop shop for weather right here in East Tennessee. Oh, and did I mention it is 100% free? Why? Because you should never have to pay for weather. We have it on our cell phones every single day. It comes with every cell phone, but it doesn't always tell you the whole story, and that's where East Tennessee weather comes into play. All right, we sure hope you have a great day. Your next weather update is coming up at 6 o'clock. See you then.